In this video, we will study about human brain and its functions. The human brain is the central organ of the nervous system and with the spinal cord, it makes the central nervous system or CNS. The human brain is the command center for the human nervous system. It receives signals from the body's sensory organs and outputs information to the muscles. The brain consists of the cerebrum, the brain stem and the cerebellum. The human brain has the same basic structure as other mammal brains but it is larger in relation to body size than any other brains. It weighs about 1.5 kg in humans. The average male has a brain volume of 1274 cubic centimeter. The average female brain has a volume of 1131 cubic centimeter. Human brain contains about 86 billion nerve cells or neurons known as the gray matter. It contains of billions of nerve fibers, exons and dendrites or the white matter. Right hemisphere and the left hemisphere and it is joined by a bundle of nerve fibers known as corpus callosum. Now students, let us study about the anatomy of human brain. It consists of three parts, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. Forebrain is shown in yellow color in this diagram, midbrain is shown in pink color and hindbrain is shown in blue color. Forebrain is related to voluntary actions of our body, midbrain and hindbrain are related to involuntary actions of our body. Now let us discuss about forebrain. It consists of cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus and pituitary gland and it is related to the, the voluntary actions of our body like thinking, singing, memory, emotions, hunger, sleep, fullness etc. And for in forebrain, cerebrum consists of 85% of the part. So let us study the structure and function of cerebrum in detail. The cerebrum is divided into four parts. The four parts of the cerebrum are known as lobes, four lobes and their name are frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe and occipital lobe. Frontal lobe, it controls the problem solving, intellectual activities, attention, judgment and behavior and muscle movement. The temporal lobe, which is shown in green color, is related to visual and auditory memory. The parietal lobe is related to pain, pressure, touch and visual functions. And the occipital lobe helps in recognition of color, words and movements. So students, this way the function of the forebrain or cerebrum is clear to you and it occurs with the help of four lobes present in cerebellum. Now let us discuss about the hindbrain. Hindbrain consists of medulla oblongata which is related to certain reflex action or life giving involuntary actions of our body. Whereas cerebellum is, cerebellum is related to balance and motor memory. Now let us discuss about the midbrain. Midbrain is the beginning portion of brain stem and it connects forebrain to the spinal cord and the functions its functions are certain involuntary actions like vision hearing motor control etc so students by this diagram it is clear to you that the brain has been divided into three portion forebrain midbrain and hindbrain forebrain consists of cerebrum thalamus hypothalamus pituitary gland and it is related to all the voluntary actions of our brain for example thinking singing dancing jumping and certain emotions like hunger, sleep, etc. Whereas the hindbrain, which is shown in blue color, is related to life-giving reflexes as well as balance. Whereas midbrain is also rela related to certain involuntary functions like vision, hearing, motor control, etc. This way, I think you have understood nicely the structure as well as functions of brain. Thank you.